Hey, what's going on? It's Serge here again. Welcome back to a brand new review video. Today we have the Sapphire Radeon RX 480 8GB Nitro Plus card and I stuck it into my mining rig and I'm going to tell you everything about it and how it does in performance wise. I'm going to tell you the hash rate and the temperatures. I don't have exact wattage counts but over the internet while I did a little bit of surfing while mining, this card will get to maybe 170 to 180 watts uh, out of your power supply. When I first got the card straight out of the box, like it was factory, like everything was just straight normal. I was getting 22 mega hash a second with 500 mega hash on Decreed. I flashed a modded BIOS onto the card and started getting about 25 mega hash a second and 750 mega hash a second on Decreed. You have to keep in mind that if you do flash a modded BIOS onto your card, it will void all warranty. Even if you follow the tutorial you find online step by step, you could still end up breaking your card and you'll end up with a big hunk of metal and plastic that does nothing. I tried to overclock the, the memory on the card and it no change occurred. Like I was watching some other people try and overclock this card and what they did first is they uh, flashed a modded BIOS and then they um, went into the AMD uh, settings and they went over to Global Wattman and they turned up the memory and it brought it up like 5 mega hash. When I bring the memory up to 2200 megahertz it, it does nothing. Nothing happens at all. I, I guess I gotta do more research into this. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm dual mining with Decreed because I'm getting a high high hash rate on Decreed. Uh, really high. Uh, I think I'm making a decent amount of money. I think I'm making almost the money I would making 30 mega hash a second when I get 25 mega hash on uh, Ethereum and then I get a 750 mega hash on Decreed. I, I did some research and some people are getting three, 30 mega hash a second on this card. I just can't figure it out. I guess maybe I should check out um, doing this card solo Ethereum. On my GTX 1060, which is right next to the 480, I get an extra 3 mega hash on Ethereum and an extra 100 mega hash on uh, Decreed when I overclock uh, the memory, but like I don't know what's going on. Like whenever I overclock the memory on the RX 480, nothing happens. Just keep searching the web and um, just keep looking at tutorials and just test things out, trial and error, and try and get this card to 30 uh, mega hash. It will make it there. It does make it. Uh, some other people have found the way. I just don't know how they're doing it because they're overclocking the memory and it's going up. But for me. Overclocking the memory is just not doing anything. Alright, so here's another important part about this card. It runs really hot. Like, insanely hot. I have this set up in an open air case in a basement. It's not naturally super hot in basements. And this is an open air case. So, to be running at 70 degrees Celsius is... It's kind of surprising to me. I, I'm, I'm serious. It's seriously surprising. I have the RX 40 like right up against the 1060, but that's how all everyone has uh, their rig set up. It's like card to card. Uh, I probably should have maybe spaced it out more, but I don't think it. Sh I don't think it matters. But um, I have one little um, fan there that uh, makes the heat dissipate a little bit more, and I'm able to keep it at 70 degrees Celsius. The GTX 1060 runs at 54 degrees Celsius, and it's overclocked. I'm not able to flash a modded BIOS onto the GTX 1060 because uh, uh, NVIDIA's encrypted their BIOS on the 10 series. But seriously, even overclocking the 1060 gets like 16 de uh, degrees Celsius lower. It's ridiculous. My end goal is to get 25 graphics cards running. Um, and that will make me uh, just a little bit more money than I do currently at my job. And it'll get me like... $170 a week and that includes taking out the money I would uh, get taken out for paying electric bill if I just buy all like 23 more of these cards because I already have two cards uh, if I buy 23 more my basement is gonna seriously be a sauna at least in the summertime but during the winter it does get frigid cold in that side of the basement where I keep my rig which will be good for the cards but during the summer I don't know it's it's kind of dangerous I think. Next I plan to buy the RX 478GB mining edition with just that VGA port. Uh, this is able to get like 35% more efficiency or something like that. And that video is going to come up in a month or so when I save up a little bit more money. And that will be 
that for this video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave it a like if you did. If you want to know any information I didn't mention uh, in this video about this card, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll try and figure it out for you. And I'll see you in the next one.